health, and that is why we you know scheduled him to also give us some insights on tomorrow on Sunday. All right today we'll be having a Mr. Clifford. Um, you know, we don't just carry it, um anybody anyhow and just put to beat um the boost camp. This is a guy I've actually been um observing. Like I've been studying this guy for the past three, four months, and like, I've been studying him, you know, when he posts, I've just been watching his plays and all of that. Right, and today he'll be joining us. So, right. So Clifford Martins, if you're here, can you uh, start up? Uh, hi guys, good evening. If you can hear me and I'm loud enough, just signify. Um, just put a comment or just let me know that you can hear me. All right, am, am I good? Am I loud? Am I clear enough? Yes, I can hear you. All right, okay, so I'll take it as a yes, which means yes, I can, can hear, hear you. you. All right, thanks for I that can confirmation. Hear you. All right, welcome. Thank you for that confirmation. All right, so um, my name is Clifford, and there's nothing special about me, guys. <laughs> uh, don't mind all those, all those fugazi, the guys just go up in this evening. I'm just Clifford, a regular guy like you. And um, so that's it. So um, today we just look at some very basic things, you know, um, about cryptocurrency. Uh, we we'll look at investment, we we'll look, we'll look at trading, and we we'll look at some basic trading. Uh, uh, market orders, you know, uh, and we look, we, we just, we just play around, we just play around the market basically, and we just share one or two things. Uh, I, I believe it's going to be an eye opener for some persons, and from, from for, for some other persons, it's going to be an added knowledge, uh, and, and we'll just go from there. I hope, I hope that makes sense. All right, uh, I don't know if I can share my screen. Um, let me see if I can share my screen. Because it, it ought to be practical, so you can see, and we just flow from there. Let me see if I can share my screen. Uh, so please, if I, if at any point in time you can't hear my voice, or my voice become distort, distorting, just signify, just call my attention. Oh, I'm not talking to myself, and I'm not talking to the crowd. And also, if there's so much noise, just call my attention to it, all right? So I can change my location, because I'm actually at home right now. And All right, so guys, I, I haven't said that. Let's just dive straight in, and we'll just go from there. All right, so my name is Clifford again for those who are just joining and I'll be taking you on to this live webinar and we'll talk about, we'll talk about trading and investment, you know, and we'll talk about market orders and we'll just share some little tips about cryptocurrencies and how you can make money. The goal, is to, the goal of this class is to learn something tangible that would make you money because what's about me is I, if I learn something, I'll be like, the first question I ask is, how do I make money from this thing? That's like, because practically the goal is to make money. So if, if I'm learning something, I want to know how I can make money from that thing as quickly as possible, you know. So I, I believe with today's class, I'll be able to share insights on how you can actually use cryptocurrency, trade cryptocurrency or invest in cryptocurrency that would make you money, you know, in the long run and all of those stuffs. All right, so let me see if I can share my screen and um, we'll just go from there. All right, guys, so thank you for being in this live webinar. All right, so um, if you can see my screen, just let me know, then I can go on. Can you guys see my screen right now? Yes, sir, we can. All right, thank you so much for that notification. Um, so let's see. All right, so I'm going to use Bybit. I would, I would have used Binance for this demonstration, but however, I'm going to use Bybit. Um, I, I, started, I, like, I started using Bybit um, as an exchange recently. I, I, like, I like their system, and uh, they give me the ability to trade, to trade more. Um, what is the word now? They give me the ability to trade more um, more pairs that Binance on the norms would not have, you know. Um, so that, that's why I like Bybit. They are new and they have their fees are actually lesser. They have lesser fees. Uh, they have more trading opportunities. They have more trading um, pairs, all right. And also their their affiliate program, you know, their referral programs is is massive. All right, you know what? Let me, let me start with this, guys. You know, sometimes uh, we, we, we chase we chase, we, we chase too much. Let me show you guys something before we go. We chase, you know, one thing about making money is the, the, the smallest thing you know can make you tons of money. You just, have to, you just have to find a way to position yourself and to utilize that information. Early, 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 earlier this year, around January and February, I was, I was doing a masterclass, a, a cryptocurrency masterclass. Let me see if I can find that note and I will share with you guys. Um, I was in a master class, and in that master class, I, I was teaching very simple things like referrals, making money from, from referrals. You see, you don't have to trade to make money. I keep saying it, you know, when it comes to making money in the crypto space, you don't have to trade. 
like you don't have to do any of those stops. Let me find it. Okay, I've, I think I've seen. Uh, just bear with me, guys. Um, let me find that note, and we'll just flow from there. You know, you don't have to pay to make money. You don't have to do. In fact, you don't have to invest to make money. See, as li as small as referring people to use an to use a platform makes you money. From today, today only, today only, I have gotten at least seventeen dollars. Let me show you guys. Um, I'll find you know, but let me just show you guys something I did today. Uh, um, let me let me show my P2P transactions. I sold $17 this evening. That's about gave me about 14k for $17. I sold it this evening and I got I got that money. I got that money from just referral, like just referral bonus. I'm, I'm trying to find I'm trying to find uh, uh, my my transactions. Hold on, guys. Just give me a minute. Let me find it out and we'll just go from there. If you can't if you can't see my screen, just let me know, all right? So I am so that I'm not talking to myself and I'm not showing my screen to spirits. All right. Uh, so let's just let me find let me find my, my P2P transaction. Um if I can't find it, I will just show you I will just show you the credit alert. But anyway, I can't find let me just show you the credit alert. Let me just show you the alert. Okay, so you see here, uh, yeah, this is my XMS. See the time here. The time here says six at one PM. All right. And uh, this this is a this is a code I used to uh, authenticate the payments. And this person sent me 14,000. See here, see the credit alert. 630, like this even, that's minutes ago. And so from, so from I, I sold $17 because of, because of just referrals. Just referrals. I didn't do anything special. I didn't trade. I didn't do, I didn't do anything. In, in the course of this week only, I've gone ahead to make at least almost $80 from referrals with, on Binance only just this week. Let me find, let me show you referrals. Yeah. Let me see if I would see the, if I would see those those transactions there. Like just this week only from on Tuesday until now, I have gone ahead to make at least eighty dollars from referrals. I didn't trade, I didn't invest, I didn't do nothing. Like cool eighty dollar, like cool eighty dollar. So in, in, in the crypto space, there are, the opportunity is endless. You don't have to break your head. You know, as as small as as small as just referrals, you're making cool money. Yeah. Let, let this. I, I want to talk to just so I can show you guys and you can see how this stuff is like. I don't know why it's not coming up. Ah, network here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. All right. I think it's up now. Uh, come on now. Just bear with me, guys. While I just navigate this place, I, my network is a little bit crappy. Oh, uh, it's a little bit crappy. Let me find my referrals. Um, hold on, guys. Uh, let me just change this date. Let me change this date to uh, inception. Let me just pick a random date here. Uh, come on, why is it giving me this? Why is it giving me a little? Come on, come on, come on. I want to show you guys. How easy it is you can just you can just make make money. You don't you don't have to break your head. Just just get your referral link from any any exchange platform, and just send to people. I just send to people. All right. So if if you go to Binance, you would see referral. You just click on it to come here. You copy your referral link and just 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 share it. Just share it. And before you know it, you're good. Okay. Let me see my referral overview. Uh -uh. Now you see. Um, I have over 160 referred people. You can see here, right? And 11 of them are already trading. 11 of them are already trading. Now, look at this. If you can see my screen very well, you can see earnings here. If you can see any, just say earnings. Let me hear you. So, I can, so that I'm sure you can actually see it. Earnings. All right, that's cool. Now, if you see, this earnings here shows 0 um, 0.0125. I'm seeing just a black screen, sir. Oh, I, I think it's a network. Okay, it's it's on now. It's on now. All right, all right, all right, fine. Thank you. Now, if if you look at this place, you would see um my earnings is practically 0 0.012 BTC. If you convert this 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 to a USD, it's it's over over eighty dollar. And I made this in just from on, on, on Tuesday until like this evening. I didn't do I didn't do anything. Just I I, I just I was just sharing my referral link to people. Like last of December. Um, I, I thought about it. I was like, okay, okay. I think I can find a way to make money off this market without doing any work. So I, I was I was running a very cheap advertising on Facebook then, and I was bringing people to my WhatsApp. I was putting them, them on the WhatsApp group, and I was teaching them 
just very simple thing on, on crypto. What is crypto? What is BTC? What is USDT? I think my screen is out. If you can see my screen, let me know. If you can't see my screen, please let me know. All right? If I'm too fast, it's, it's back now. Come on. All right. The if screen I'm too is fast, back now. Please... All right. Thank you for that notification. If I'm too fast, please call my attention. All right. I, I want you guys to get something you can use to make. See, I, I want... the goal is to make money. You know, some fluff. You know, some random knowledge, random information that you can't use to do anything after leaving this webinar. All right. So what I did was, what I did was, I started running cheap ads on Facebook early, early late the last year, December. I ran that ad from December until like March this year. And I was just, I, I, I was just bringing people to my WhatsApp, put them in the WhatsApp group. And just teach them, teach them simple crypto stuff, like how to make money with crypto referrals. And for you to join that class, you have to sign up on Binance with my referral link. And that was, how, that was how I was able to get this 160 friends. And out of this 160, 11 are already trading. This 11, I'm already making a lot of money from them. Now imagine if this 160 is beginning to trade, begins to trade, or starts trading. Think how much are we making every day, just because they are trading. Do you understand? It, it, it's, it's a no-brainer. You don't, you don't... Okay, let me, let me just show you. Let me click on this week. Yeah, so this is the ending of this week. Okay, this is, this is the current ending of this week. 0 0.0049 BTC, which is almost $80. Which is almost eighty dollar, like eighty dollar. That's that's over. If if you do, if if you sell eighty dollar right now, that's that's almost sixty k or uh, almost something k. If I'm not mistaken, if you use the current exchange rate of eight eight oh six or eight seven seventy nine, that's I like I made somebody's whole salary in a week, and I didn't even lift a finger. I was just on my own and I was just getting I was just getting free coin to my wallet. All I have to do is just go and sell it to PDP and put the money in my back account and smile home. Kind of flex. All right, so this is how you can make money in the crypto space. Stresslessly. No loss. Like, no loss guaranteed. So all you have to do is just come on your Binance or any action pattern you use at all, anyone you use at all. Just come there, copy your referral link. Copy your referral link. And just start sharing it to them. As long as they trade. Whether they trade futures or they trade sports, whatever they trade, you are, Binance will be giving you a 20% of the trading fee, all right? It's a 20% of the trading fee, all right? But if you accumulate it over a period of time, it becomes much. And sometimes you can get lucky and you can have, you can ha I have one guy on my, on my, on my referral link. This guy trades over 4,000 every week. Like he trade, he, every week, he, this guy deposits $4,000 every week, $4,000 in, in his wallet. And for that single deposit he's making, perhaps he's giving me 20% of the transaction fee. Do you understand? So I can, I can make... I, I don't think the guy is going to need this thing, any, any deposit this week. I think that's why I've not gotten good referral, um, referral income. If the guy had done, I've got almost $20 for free on Binance. So this is how you can make money on crypto. Just referrals. It's that simple. It's that simple. Right, I hope this makes sense, guys. If it makes sense, just, just say makes sense. Let me hear you guys. Makes sense. But I have a question, sir. All right, go ahead. Oh. Okay, um, this river thing, um, do I have to be a trader before referral link generates? You don't have, you don't, you don't, you don't have to, you don't have to be a trader. Or... Like, do I have to press any trade at all? No, or you don't have to. it's just registration and... You don't, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. Like I said, all you have to do is just make sure you're registered on Binance or, or, any, or any exchange platform at all. Any, any at all. Go to your referral icon here. Click on the referral. And just copy your referral link. Copy your referral link and copy your referral link. This is a referral link here. Just copy it and share it. Let me show you guys one of the group on WhatsApp where I was how I was doing it then. Let me show you guys. Um, let me find let me find that group. I think I can find the group. Um, um, crypto badge. I think I used to call it something like that. But Abi CBC. I'm coming. Let me just find the groups. So I will show you guys how I was able to do it. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, there are my groups. I think I archived all of them. Yeah, I archived all of them. Let me just let me just find them here. See so if I can find them here. All right. So you can see here. I have, I have, I had tons of those groups. Let me just show you guys one. So this is one of the groups. Um, let me take you to the to the beginning, and so you see how I do it. All right. So this these are I brought them to the group and. Uh, all right, so you see, it's just very simple. Welcome, guys. My name is Clifford, and yes, a three days free session. I'm just doing it for free, but you have to sign up. In fact, I was doing, I was running through referral programs then, 
one was for yellow card because yellow card I became an, I became an ambassador for yellow card. So one of our one of our one of our assignment as as an ambassador for yellow card. Yellow card is a cryptocurrency exchange platform. All right, they offer cross border remittance. So one, one of my one of my goals for yellow card then was um, was that we have to bring in sign ups. We have to bring people that use the platform. And for every sign up we are bringing, we are getting two dollar per sign up. So trust me, those guys are coming to my WhatsApp group for free. But I was making two dollar two dollar off their head. <laughs> Do you understand? I was making two dollar off every person that, that come into that group. So imagine two dollar from, from for like almost twenty people. And I was doing this like back to back. I did it for like almost four months. Like I made I made I made crazy money that early this year, like January, February, March, April. I made shit hundred of money in the crypto space. I, I didn't trade. I didn't do anything. I was just 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 referrals only. So you see here, yeah, I'll tell them to get the app, they use my referral link, and they would see Binance app too with my referral link. And that was just that was just it, guys. It was as simple, it was as simple as this. No headache, no stress. Oh, I know I was spending money on getting them to come to my WhatsApp. You know, I was paying Facebook 5k, 2k per day to get them to come to my WhatsApp. Yeah, fine. But you know, you don't have to do that. You can start with you have friends, you have we call them, we call them people, people assets, you have friends and family. You could just share your, you could just create a small flyer and tell them to hey, I'm having a I'm having a class, so uh, help me share to your let me put a start to say your friends can join my WhatsApp, your, my, my WhatsApp group and build like how you guys came to this telegram channel right now. Imagine if I said, Okay, guys, um, I have a free gift for you guys, I have a video that will show you how to trade or how to invest. And for you to get that video, you must sign up on Bybit using my referral link. I can guarantee you that more than half of everybody on this telegram group will sign up just because they want to get that video, right. And because they sign up, they don't know that I'm actually making money off their head. Although they'll get the video, which is, which is going to be valuable to them. But in the long run, I've made money off their head. So this is how it's simple to make money all right, off, off the market. It's just that simple. Right, I hope this makes sense. I hope this is, this, is, this is really handy and you can really utilize this and make money for yourself. This is, this is an evergreen, non-ending process. It's, it's so amazing, all right? Um, so let's, let's go into uh, trading and investing. Let's go to and investing and let's see what we can learn from that and we would go on would go on from there if you can't see my screen please let me know if you can't see my screen also let me know if i'm too fast call my attention um, if i'm noisy if there's noise let me know so i can see my location um whatever challenge you just come attention so i know that you are following and i'm not talking to the wind and i'm not wasting my time all right if you have questions please come my attention to your question also because we are here to learn and we'll learn for sure all right so let's go, let's go. So let's let's let me use Bybit for a case study. Um, let me show you guys some kind of market orders we have. You know, because sometimes when it comes to taking trade, um, you need to know um, your the market order, the order you're using in placing your trade. All right. And I, I think this is very important. Okay, so this is Bybit. And if you see here on Bybit, we have we have um, we have those two market orders here. We have limit and we have market. Now, if you're placing a trade, it could be spots, it could be futures. Because in the crypto space, there are practically two ways you can trade. You can trade the spot, or you can trade futures. Now, the spot trade is practically a trade where you buy a coin, or you, 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 you buy a coin at a low price, all right? And when the, when, the, when the price of that coin appreciates over time, you sell the coin, and you make... Sorry, that, sorry about that, guys. And you make uh, profits from the difference between the price that you buy and the price that you, that you sold. Does that, make any, does that make any sense? So on spot trading, on the crypto space, um, you are buying low and you're selling high. Let me take that again. In spot trading in the crypto space, you are buying low and you're selling high. The reason, the, reason, the reason people lose their money is they buy high and they end up selling low. And that's bad business. All right? For you to make good profit, you have to buy low and then sell high. All right? And that, this, this is how you trade spots. It's a, it's a one-way trade. It's a one-way trade. You buy low and you sell high. You can't buy high and sell low. If you try it, you lose your money. Yeah, does that make any sense? And also, we have the future trade. Now, this future trade is called derivative. All right. Uh, what it means is, what it means is, you actually, you actually, um, you actually anticipating the future price of the asset. So it's called futures because you're trying to anticipate where the price of that asset is going to go to the nearest future. Let's say, for example, um, let's take a case study here. Let me just show you guys. Let's take a case. Let's let's take um, let's use PTC for example. PTC for example. If you, if you look at this screen very well, if you look to the to the right hand side, you would see an order book. 
you would see upside is red, downside is green. In between the upside and downside, you would see a price, 21,276.50, all right? Now, this price is actually the current price of BTC at this moment right now. Now, this platform here is a, is, is a futures dashboard. And here you can place a trade on futures. You can say, okay, you know what? I, I want to anticipate that the price of BTC will go up. All right? Now, um, when, you, when, 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 when you do this, you take a long trade. All right? We call it long or we call it a buy long. We call it buy long, long or buy. All right? Is that you call it a buy trade? A long trade or a buy long, you can, you can combine both names together. So I'm saying, okay, you know what, guys? The price of BTC will get to 22,000. So what I would do is I'll place a small amount of money, let's say ten dollar, and say, okay, if BTC gets to 22,000, I want to close the trade at a profit because my analysis is telling me that BTC would what would get to 22,000. Now all of this is done by technical analysis, and I believe that will be covered in subsequent classes. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking that today. Uh, um, so that's that. So in, in the future trade, you, you, you trade the market in both ways. You can say, okay, BTC will crash down to 19,000. You, you cannot say this off, off, offhand, right? You need to have proof, evidence. You need to have, uh, what is the word? You need to have clear analysis. You need to be sure. You need, you need to have indications showing you that, you know, the price of BTC, uh, the price of BTC will actually go down for you to take that sell trade. So in the futures market, you can trade long or you can trade short. You can trade both of the market. Like, but unlike sports, you can only trade one way. And that's one way in sports is you buy low and you sell high. But in futures, you can anticipate the price to go down and you make money if it goes down. You can also say the price will go up and you make money if the price goes up. So it's either ways. There are a lot of, there are a lot of factors before you take it. There are a lot of factors to consider before you place it on futures. All right? There are a lot of factors like so many damn factors like your you want to understand your lots your um let me not use lots like this is not for it sorry guys you want to understand your leverage you know um in fact they call it lots the lot side for crypto we call it leverage you want to understand, you want to understand your leverage are, are you using what kind, what kind of leverage are you using is it the cross or the margin the cross or isolated margin you know we have the cross margin and we have isolated margin all right i i, I won't touch this but just just know it for the sake all right you want to know um um, your risk to reward ratio. You want to know, okay, how many X, how many X am I using? Uh, what's my leverage size for this trade? You know, um, let me show you guys. For example, if, if you look at this top here, as my left hand side on this screen, you would see BTC, and just on that BTC, you would see another box. It says cross, and you will see ten X in green, and you will see ten X in red. If you can see that, let me indicate. If, it's, if you can see, just let me know you can see that. Yes, sir. If you can, you can see right now. What that means is. If I take a trade now on this dashboard, on this platform, I'm taking this trade on a cross margin. What, what this cross margin means is that uh, my capital, even, even, even if I'm not trading with it, it, it will be affected. If the trade goes bad against me and there's no stop loss, it's going to eat all my capital up. That's what this cross means. It's good. I like cross. I like using cross because it gives your, it gives your trade the room to breathe and just play around, you know? And I can change it to isolated. So you can see here we have isolated, we have cross. Now, for isolated, what it means is that the only capital that will be affected is the capital you use in placing that trade. So let's say, for example, you have a, you have like $1,000 in your wallet, all right? You have like $1,000 for trading capital, all right? And from that $1,000, you use just $50 to place a trade on futures, and then you're using isolated. If that trade, if that trade goes bad and there's no stop loss, let's say, for example, there's no stop loss, all right? And that trade goes bad. The only capital that will be affected is just that $50. Is that clear? But if you use cross, all right, and that trade goes bad and goes against you, the, that capital that you're not... Oh, you still be affected also. This, this is the this is on the future. As you understand, okay. Oh, it's breaking, it's breaking. Uh, sorry, sir. Can.
Oh, okay. Am I am I back? Am I back? Yes, yes, back now. Oh, thank you, thank you, guys. All right. So, like I said, I said you want to understand what cross and isolated margin means. Now, I said isolated means that let's say, for example, you have a thousand dollar in your wallet as capital for trading, and you're using an isolated margin. What that means is, so let's say after that one, after that one K dollars you have in your wallet, you're using a little dollar trade. And in that trade, somehow, somehow, you didn't, you didn't put stop loss. Somehow, 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 you forgot to put stop loss because it happens. Like this thing happens in real life. I, I, I had a student in my group. She sent me a message like on Wednesday. Oh, I don't know if I'm. Or I think I'm still, I'm still live. I, I had a, I had a, I had a student, a woman, a mother actually, one of my one of my VIP groups for trading. Um. She was pregnant. She's pregnant. She was pregnant because she has given birth like on Monday. I get I gave them two trades last week Friday at the Thursday, two trades, and from my trade most times we don't set we 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 we, we take our trade with limits. We take we take our trade with limits. Now limits means that the price that we want to enter that trade has not really triggered, has not come, has not played out. So we are actually waiting for that for the price to come to that level. Then our trade will go live, All right? So, for mo mo most of most of my analysis, most of my signals, they are always they are always about they are always, they are always placed with limits. So I'll be like, guys, let's take this trade, use limit to set your to set your to set your order. So this lady, what she did was she, she used limits, and she set her order, and most sometimes 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 all right sometimes, uh, if your trade will go live and you not be with your phone, in fact most times. Because you're using limit to set your to set your uh, to set your order, you might not be able to set your your, your stop loss and take profits, but you, you you can still do that, all right. But sometimes we, I just set my I just place my orders on limits, and I will wait for the trade to go live. Once the trade is live, I will not come back to set TP and stop loss. So that this was like the case for this woman, all right. So um, she took that trade, and that Friday evening she she, she got into labor, all right. She got into labor and she was taken to the hospital. She had a CS. She had, I think, she had twins. She had, she had CS. She had CS, and she was, she was not discharged until, until, until I think on Wednesday. And she called me and said that all her capital, she had about six hundred dollars. All that money is down to just forty dollars. She wasn't liquidated, but the trade has hit TP and has reversed back. She says she says she was not with, she was not with her she was not with her phone for that period of days because she was in the hospital. You know, a mother who does put to bed, phone will be your problem now, right? Does that make any sense? So that kind of thing happened to her. She, all, her all, all her capital, like from six hundred dollars, is down to is down to is down to just forty dollar. And she was crying. She was calling and she was crying like, Ah, Clifford, don't worry, I'm doomed. I'm finished. I was like, Relax, now money, money go go, money go come. Maybe it's money. You know, what I'm about making money in this life is, um, I keep I tell my child, I'll be like, Clifford, don't worry about saving money. Don't worry, don't worry about keeping money. Don't worry about holding money. See how you can spend that money to get mastery and knowledge. Because if you have mastery and knowledge, if you have a particular skill set, eh, you can make money, you can mint money at any freaking time. So when I see when I see young guys saving money, I'll be like, oh my, you're doing the wrong thing. Right now, right now for a young person, you should be saving money. See how you can spend that money on getting knowledge. Like, spend that money. Just get courses, get training, get mentorship, get coaching. Don't spend the money, just get mastery. Because once you have mastery of a particular skill set, like trading. See, trading is one of the skills I know that in this life, eh? If I go to zero today, just give me one week, I'll be back to making millions. Like, I'll be so back. I'll be back to a million in a week, like guaranteed. Why? Because I have the skill set, right? So I keep saying, you know what, don't, don't, money will come out. Because I was like, I was like, I'm a car, don't worry. Money will come, money will go. You've lost now. Me too, I've blown account. I've blown account like countless times I'm trading crypto. Now I'm trading Forex too. I'm blowing demo accounts. <laughs> I'm not going to lie yet on, on Forex, all right? But I'm, I'm already blowing demo account. See, money would come, money would go. So instead of focusing on saving your money, spend it on knowledge, acquire more knowledge, and it will pay you back like a million folds till you die. It's knowledge. Do you understand? All right. So I, I said, okay, you know what? You have $40. I will give you a challenge that many would do. 
and I would go a forty dollar bag to Central Island for you before the end of December. And we are actually we are actually on a challenge right now. So it's it's this is how it works. All right. So you can have that kind of situation happen to you, and you don't it is set TP and it is set stop loss. And if you're using cross, all your capital would vamoose, like it does disappear if the trade goes bad. But if you're using isolated, all right. If you're using isolated and that kind of thing happened to you that happened to her, the only money that will be affected, the only money that will be affected will, be, will, will just be the capital you use in taking that trade. And your remaining balance will be left in your wallet untouched. So this, this is the difference between isolated and cross. You can be like, ah, since, since it's like this, I, I beg, I will not choose isolated. But, well, me, I like using cross. You can use isolated because I, I feel cross gives my, my trade the room to breathe and allows it play well, play out well. That's this. That's 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 my trading my, my, my trading style. And if you want to learn from me, that's what you'll be doing too. All right. And I use ten x. I don't. I don't use. If it's not 10, if it's not ten x, I don't trade. No matter how. No matter how. How many? Um. What's the word now? How many? Um. What's that word now? Sorry, guys. How many uh, indications? Like how many confirmations I get, or how many? Uh. That this trade will go in my direction. If it's not ten x, I'm not trading. I can increase my capital. If I'm very sure that this trade will go well, I will just, I will just pump in capital. But to no to no exit 10x. It's just my take, my take, my trading strategy, my, my trading style. And if you have to learn from me, this is how you be training too. Because, because all my training videos, all my training materials will tell you use 10x. All right. I, at times I even use 5x. So I'm not so, if, I'm, if I'm not so sure about that trade. So this is what um, these are these are these are these are like types of um uh, margin you can use to trade isolated and cross all right i hope this is clear guys now uh, let, let, let me talk about market orders we have limits and we have markets on oh, this is by bits i will have conditional i don't really use conditional but practically i use just limit and market now limit means that the price with which you want to enter the trade is not yet playing out so you are waiting for the price to come to your level and then you're waiting for price to come you're waiting for price to come to your level and then it will, it will automatically trigger by itself. So we use limit for that kind of situation. But let's say um, you want to jump on the trade right now. You you, go, you you use market. If you use market, you're going to buy. That trade would start on the instant. Now this limit is applicable to both um, to both futures and spots. To both futures and what and spot trade. You can use limits. You can use market. Now it depend, depends on your exchange platform. Like for example, if you, if, if, you, if you go to Binance, you would see that Binance has more market orders. Let me show you, for example. Let's 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 take let's take uh, let's check a spot. Let's see a spot. A spot. Um, what's wrong with this stuff now? I think my network is bad here. Let me give me a moment, guys. Let me get this out back. All right. So let's let's see. All right, so spot now. Now this 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 is Binance platform. This is what Binance this is, on this plat on this dashboard here is how you place a spot trade. All right, so if you check Binance, uh, if you check Binance, you you can use um, you have limit, you have market, you have stop limit, you have trailing stop, you have OCO, and and the likes. Now all of this is they are almost they are almost the same. In fact, limits actually in all of these stops. So. You can just play around it, right? They, they have almost similar functions. You can just play around it. OCO does the same thing as almost stop limit. But with OCO, you can set TP, you can set stop loss. All right, on spot trade. You can you can set TP, you can set stop loss on, on OCO. Even with stop limit, you can do the same thing. You can do the same thing with limits. Practically, I think limit is like the main thing you need to know. Limit and market. That's what you should focus on because practically. Everything in OC, everything in stop limit is still a limit. So you can use limit to set all your orders, and you can use market to set to, to enter trade instantly. So these are like the two most important market orders that you can use anytime, every day, and your trade will go well. Right, I hope this makes sense, guys. Now, um, let me talk about something again before uh, before we call it a day. It's about investments. Now, um, last year, last year, somehow, 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 last year. I, I I found something on Binance. I found something on Binance. I, I did a video on YouTube on it. Um, if if um, if what's his name now? If Joffrey would allow me, I would actually share the YouTube link on the channel so you guys can watch that video. Uh, it's a video on how I made 
uh, I made over, I made over, um, how much was it, sir? Uh, I think I used five hundred dollar. I made over, uh, I made over. It is about two point one or two point two million. I can't really remember. Uh, that was like early last year, early last year, early last year. I was still working then, anyways, before I resigned. Because after that, because after that, I invested, I resigned, and I, I actually did it with, I actually did it with auto invest. Now, that, this was before, before this was before auto invest, for auto invest came into play. I was, I, I was buying a particular coin, and I was buying a particular coin for dollar. I was buying it every month. I think I bought that coin for about three months, and. That massive, you know, we had a massive boom on that, that year, last year, and that was actually what helped me, anyways. But later, later on along the line, I discovered something on Binance, and I checked, and it, it was like it was exactly the same. Uh, it was it, it was like the same pattern I used in in, in, in stacking up um, that asset that gave me that two point one million. It was, it was the same pattern. I was like, wow, I think Binance is Binance is smart for bringing this initiative. And it's it's called auto invest. Now, for me, for me, I was practically putting the money. It was it was I, I did that with spot trade, and every month I was putting five hundred dollar into that particular asset. Every month I was still working. I was working for the bank then, so I had capital. That was that was I had capital, anyways. But now, on this auto invest, on this on this auto invest, even if even if the salary is just ten thousand a month, eh, you can still auto invest on Binance. You can still do auto invest on Binance, and over time, you know the thing with crypto is if you can hold, if you can hold good coins, if you can hold good coins for long term, you make money, like guaranteed. Like there's no, there's no, there's no argument about that. There's no argument there. If you can hold good quality assets, if you can hold good quality coins, I, I always, I always emphasize the fact that the coins you are holding, they have to be good, and they, they, they have to be a good quality coin. You can't just be holding, you know, you know. People are funny. I don't know. How, I don't know how we think. You know, any we. Oh, all right. I know humans are humans are greedy naturally. Humans are greedy naturally. You know, we, we tend to we have a bias. You know, sometimes a lot, a lot of have, most times we have biases, and and that bias sometimes affects us negatively. You know, you want to you 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 start you, you hear coins that has you, you know because we know Shibainu did well. Yeah, Shibainu was like the first meme coin. Shibainu and Dodge. They were like the first meme coin we had in the crypto space. And we saw how they did well in a way. Even if, even if they are shit coins, they did well. Because of that, people, people began to take advantage of the crypto and started, and started creating a amount of useless, useless shit coins. You start hearing Floki Inu, Santa Inu, Baby Dodge, something Inu, you know, Wankada Inu, you know, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of crazy, a lot of crazy assets. And, and people are putting them and I'd be like, are you guys stupid? You know, I'm sorry to sound, please follow my language, you know. I can be very, very emotional sometimes. When I see, when I see people doing jobs, I can be very emotional about it. I'm like, are you guys stupid? Can't you see this is a coin driven by sentiment? And it's going to rock pull your money. Like, are you guys so dumb? You know, people are buying Floki Inu. Like, I had one guy. This guy was on my neck. Alpha, Clifford, Floki Inu. Floki, are you, I'm like, if you, if you tell me Floki Inu, I will block you. I will block your WhatsApp. I will block you on calling me. I will block you. In fact, you, you know, you, 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 you used to be my friend, like, forever. I was like, Flokinu, Flokinu, until it happened. Before I know, what can I know? I was like, I, can't, can't you guys just sit down and think with your brains and see that you're about to put your money in something that will, something that will come to bite you? Meme coins are worthless. They are, they, are, they are worthless. See, I know some of you will not agree with me, but it's just a fact. I got to put my $10 in BTC. I put my $10 in, in, in Wakandainu. Now, I know you would say, eh, but it will not pump. I know what can I do? Can I pump and give you crazy amount of money? But I, what about me is I like to I like to put my money in a place where I can sleep peacefully and not worry about and not, and not worry about what happens next. You know, if, if, I, if, I, if I have my money in BTC, I can I can go and party and you know, I can go and join into my life. And I, I know no matter how BTC crash crashes, it's a it's a quality coin and it's going to come back up. It's going to pump up. And when it bombs, I'm going to get money back out of it. I'm going to put money in a coin that would die out of existence. Like, it does die out. So, you want to put your money in, in you want to invest your money in good coins. So, so when I saw auto-invest, now, if you want to navigate auto-invest, on your Binance platform, you'll see this icon to my right-hand side. It says more. 
all right it says more click on the more and you would see all of these icons pop up all right just look you would see it you would see here under recommended you would see auto invest and you see it's hot it's it's a, it's a no-brainer the, the idea the initiative behind auto invest was the same exact initiative i used in dca into buying poker dot yeah the coin i bought that gave me to for one was poker dot for, for i know people want to know it's poker dot and poker dot is a good is a good asset all right poker dot all right now that was that anyway so um so if you click on auto invest it will open up as long as you have binance now auto invest might not be on, on other exchanges i don't they, or it might be and have other names does that make any sense so if you're using kucoin gate io gemini um coinbase kraken and what about you're using okex anyone you're using they might have auto invest but it might not be the same as auto invest all right i think kucoin has it but kucoin calls it dca investment i'm not sure but on binance it's called auto invest and and it makes a lot of sense all right now if you check on this auto invest let me be sure i'm live oh, i'm live yeah cool. now if you check on this auto invest every coin so see why i like buy see why i like binance eh? so they, they don't put rubbish on that platform like before binance released a coin before binance released a coin on their platform they would have done a lot of check so i tell you put i'd be like any coin you see on binance your risk to reward on that coin is actually very less because Binance on their own, they would have done their own security check and they would have been sure that that coin has, in a way, has liquidity, you know, has a good use case. Because in, in the crypto space, what makes a good coin, what makes a coin good and of quality is one, utility, uh, which is practically the use case, uh, the market capitalization, market cap, uh, the team behind the project. One thing that kills, that kills most crypto assets is the team behind it. You know, the team, the individuals behind that coin, the use case of the coin, the utility of that coin, and um, they're, like, they're like four basic four basic fundamentals that we check out for to say, hey, this coin is good. Like, hey, this coin is good. All right. First one I said, utility, which is practically the use case. What is this coin used for? What problem, what real life problem is this coin solving? Because practically, Every coin you see here are actually projects by real-life companies, companies that exist in real life. And these companies, they are solving real-life problems, all right? So you want, to, you, want to, you want to know what that coin, what problem it is solving. You don't want to go and put your money in Wakanda Inu. <laughs> you know, if, if, you, if, you, if you read up Wakanda Inu use case, it's just, it's so, it's so stupid. It's so stupid. In fact, even Shiba Inu service is still a shit coin. <laughs> Do you understand? How much more can I now watch more of those useless that I know, baby? I saw one coin. Uh, what did they even call it again? Uh, squid. Oh, you know, people are very greedy and dumb. Uh, let's, let's not go there. But I hope you guys are learning something anyways. So if you come to Auto Invest here, yeah, you would see Finance has listed good quality coins. See, every coin on Auto Invest, they are good and they are of quality. Just, just, just take a look at all the coin here. We have BNB. We have BTC, we have ETH, we have Rune, we have Solana, we have Chain, we have Harmony One, we have Ape, we have Mbox, Matic, we have Anzi Infinity, we have Polkadot, we have Ada, we have Avax, Avalanche, we have Phantom. Like every good, every coin here, we have XROP. Yeah, this is how they have problem. We have Chainlink, we have Near Protocol, we have Litecoin, Sandbox, Agorand Gold, Mana. We have all of these coins here. We have lot of lot, lot and lots more of them. All you have to do is just come here, all right? You come here and you just pick one. You pick one and you start, you start investing. It's very simple. It's it's very this. Now let me tell you, let me tell you why this is good. Why this is good. Now, in spot trade, all right. When you when you buy a coin in spot trade, you only wait for that coin to appreciate in price before you can sell and make profit, right? But I'd be like, you know what? Don't do spot trade. Do auto invest. Why? Because uh, auto invest has the same principle of buying low and selling high, right? But it had it has an added, added, an, an, an added advantage. Sorry about that, guys. It has an extra advantage, all right? Now, and this advantage is the fact that every single freaking day, part of my language, guys, every single freaking day, all right, finance gives you an extra percentage of um, 
interest. Let me use the word interest. Finance gives you interest every single day, according to the according to the according to the um, according to the number or to, according to the value of your investment. So let's say, for example, you have your hundred dollar on auto investing BNB. Every single freaking day, you'll be getting free BNB or spot wallet, free every single day. But auto invest is still running now. Every day you're getting interest for free. If the price of BNB increases, your initial capital of one dollar increases, and your interest, which is actually in BNB, would also increase. So the the win with auto invest is practically a two-way thing. So you buy a coin low, or you are investing on a coin over time. The coin appreciates in price, and you make more money. But much more, much more, you're getting interest that will also appreciate in price and give you extra money. Now, auto invest is very simple. You don't have to do anything. Finance does the heavy lifting. All you have to do with auto invest is to make sure you have money, you have USDT or BUSD. Now, you know what? Let's, let's, let's make this practical. Let me, just, let me just click on one coin. Let's make this very practical. I, I have a full course. I have a full course on this anyways. But let me just show you guys how I do it. So just click on this yellow. Click on this yellow, yellow um, icon here. And it, it, to show you this dashboard, now, this is where you set up. You, you can set the day you want Binance to take the money from your wallet and automatically invest. It is called auto-invest because Binance automatically invests it for you. All right? So you, this, is where you set, this is where you set the day. I, 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 have, one, I have one student. She, she, she's a teacher. And she earns, she earns 13,000. Like salary, she earns 13,000 naira. As, in fact, she's not a teacher. She's a staff. She, she's, uh, what's it called? She's a boss board assistant you know board assistants my child's school i met at my child's school anyway um i went to visit my child in their school and um i paid for boss for bus fare and they like this is your this is your child's boss your child's boss uh, uh, um uh, assistant take a number and be calling her so that she will know your location for a start and that's that and that's how i met this young girl you know and she she, 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 she began to do auto invest early this year like her, her, her salary is freaking thirty thousand naira. Like freaking thirty thousand. <laughs> she's a young girl. She just she just finished second. She's practically like fifteen, sixteen there about. So I think I think that thirteen k is something she she's good with it. But my God, I don't know thirteen k. Like only today I've spent if not three times that money. But but that, that's by the way, anyways. All right. So, but with that small thirteen thousand naira, this guy saves four thousand every month in crypto, and she saves it. In BNB, so what she does is every month she will go to P2P, she go to Binance P2P, and she will buy USDT worth four thousand. She buys USDT worth four thousand, and she will put it on her spot wallet. Uh, actually, I give her my course, so my course worked out through all of those guides. That's by the way. So she will buy USDT worth four thousand naira, leave it in her spot wallet. Every every month end, every month end, Binance will lift that that four thousand, which is USDT. And convert it to BNB for her, which is in auto invest. So she shall saving her money in auto invest. See, so even when, even when, even when um, the market crashed to seventeen thousand, eighteen thousand, nineteen thousand, there those times, she was still auto investing. And now that the price is actually around, three, if you take BNB now, BNB is around three fifty. So let's take BNB now. I think three fifty, um, three fifty. Okay, it's three forty eight. Before it was three fifty one. Now, so you see, she has been buying BNB at different price intervals, but she's not, she, she, she not the one buying it. It was like Binance automatically lived doing the work for her. But she has been saving her money consistently in BNB. BNB is a very, BNB is a very good coin. Like I tell people, if you want to invest some money in any, in any exchange token, please make sure it's BNB. BNB has large use. Like, it's so, it's so massive. It's so massive. BNB is so massive. Guys, this is a cheat. I just, I'm not showing this here. If you want to invest, take BNB, guys. Like, the 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 up the up the future of it is uh, it's it's crazy. Why is it crazy? Because it is owned by Binance, and Binance is the world's biggest exchange. Now, what does this mean? How does this how does this how does, how, does, how does this give you money? It means that the people that is trading on Binance per day they are over millions, and because they are millions, and they are trading on Binance, they are actually using BNB as gas fee. And transaction fee, which in, in return makes BNB 
a very, very, very useful coin or useful token. And because of the usefulness, the price of BNB is going to skyrocket like mad. In fact, this, this is a cheat, guys. All right? This is a cheat. All right? Every, every exchange token, they are good investments. I'm just, this is a cheat, guys. All right? Every exchange token, every if you, if you are if you are scared about, or if you are, if, if you don't know what coin to buy or, or hold, just go buy any exchange token, buy bit. They have exchange token. They call it bit. B i t buy it. Coin have K C S buy it. Um, o k x have o k x have o k x coin buy it. The hot bits have their own H N C coin buy it. Do you understand? If you, if you if you don't know what coin to buy, buy exchange exchange tokens. They are good. They will, as long as that as long as that exchange have good team, all right, your 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 money is actually good. It's, it's in a safe ground, and the return on investment is going to be massive in the nearest future. But like I said, I still prefer BNB anyways. All right, so that's that. So this is how, this is how you can do auto invest on Binance, and you can make lots of money, guys. It's 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 a no brainer. It makes a lot of sense. I hope I've been, I hope I've been clear enough, and you guys have learned something today. All right, so if you have questions right now, just go ahead and ask, and uh, I can answer your question and we can just move from there. I hope, I hope, I hope I've been able to impart something to you today, and I hope, I, I hope you work with them, and it's because the goal is to make money, all right? All right. So, um, Mr. Clifford, right on. thank you very much, sir. All right, you're welcome. Please, on um, that how to invest, I think I have interest in it. Um, but my question is, how does, how does he increase in how do I, I mean, if you invest a particular money, like hundred dollar, is there a particular rate at which it in, increase, or are you the one that going, going to set a particular rate at which it will increase? We get one. All right, all right. Okay, I think, think I, get, I, get, oh, I, get, I get a question. Oh, I get a question. Let me, let me ask you. for you to use it. The money. Now, yeah. Let, 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 let me explain. Now, auto invest. Auto invest is actually a modified spot trade. All right, auto invest is actually a modified spot trade. Now, in a, in spot trade, what you do is you buy a coin and you leave it there. You are not doing anything. You just buy a coin. You buy a coin low. All right, and you just leave it in your spot trade. What will happen is, if the part of that coin pumps up, yeah, you make money, right? Now, this is auto invest work. In auto invest, you're actually buying this coin. You're not buying this coin once. You're buying this coin in piecemeal. All right, so you set a particular amount. Let, let, let's say, for example, you have a, you have a hundred dollar in your wallet. I want to buy a coin. I want to buy a BNB, for instance. Now, in sports, or in sports trade, you can buy with your whole hundred dollar once. But in auto invest, you can be like, I want to buy it once. I want to be buying two dollar every week or two dollar every day until I exhaust my hundred dollar. Now, when you, when you do this, we, we call, there's something called DCA. It's called dollar cost averaging. You be buying BNB for two dollar at different price points, and this is actually a cheat when it comes to investing. You can you can you can Google, you, can, you can check this year up on Google. It's a very simple stuff. That is very it's very simple stuff. Uh, so so with auto invest, you're actually buying this coin in piecemeal in fractions over time until you adjust your whole hundred dollar. But you'll be getting an extra interest from Binance because you're auto investing every day. That, that the 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 the, uh, the goal of auto invest on Binance is that Binance is giving you interest, all right. And if the price of that coin pumps, your 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 your, your initial capital, which is which is the hundred dollar, will pump also. Your new your extra interest, which which they have given to you, will also pump. So in the long run, you have won twice. Unlike when you buy in spots, that the price will just pump and you just take only your only that one win. For auto investing, you get like a two win. Does that make any sense? And also, other invest, you can cancel your investment any freaking time, any freaking day. So, if you want some money right now, just go there and cancel it. There's a way to cancel it. It's very simple. Cancel it. Your money will return back to your wallet. Sell it and come and chop your, chop your, eat your money. You can sell it any freaking day. Does that make any sense? That's how it works. Yeah, and about percentages. There are percentages. Right? But this percentage is, actually, is, is about the, your interest. Yes, some coins on the auto invest has more percentage than some coins. But I think BNB has a very fair percentage. But that percentage is actually about your interest daily. And I feel 
it's it's not it's not an issue. It's not an issue. But but by that BNB, that BNB coin has good interest rates. BNB has interest, good interest. Rate. The one coin that had good interest rate was Luna. Until Luna had they are useless, useless issue, they had LEDC and they crashed. Luna was like one of the coins that had one of the highest interest rates on auto invest. You know, and Luna failed. And Binance has to Binance have to delete Luna and all of those stuff. So BNB is a good is a good in ask me. Take it. All right. Any more questions before we uh, go and for the day we spent almost an hour here and uh, I'm already getting uh, worked up and dead with it. All right, guys, any more questions? Hello, sir. Hello, yeah, sir. Uh, yeah. uh, I have a question. He, he also asked, the last person that asked the question, he asked if one can lose the money. So that's what I want to say. Then the now, other question I want to say is my question is um, I want to say. Can't can't we set our our SL and TP when setting it? You you can't can you can you can you, can you can you can do that you can do that you can set your TP and like I I I think I think I mentioned that I said you can set your TP and SL when setting limits. It's possible, like it's there. But I said most times I don't do it. All right, I don't okay. do it. But you can you can and I, you know recently I actually had to record a new video, and I sent it to my be like guys I think. I think you guys should be adopting this method of setting your TP and SL. So what happened to that woman when happened to the people? All right, so you can set your TP and SL. Now, about losing your money, yes, you can lose your money. The only way you can lose money in the crypto space is if the price of that coin crashes more. See, in the crypto space, if you buy a coin for $100, and that coin is crashing down, all right, you have not lost. I want to be very honest with you. You buy a coin for $100, and that coin is now worth $80. The truth is, your, the truth, the truth is you have not lost. You've not lost at all. You've only lost when you sell off. Do you understand? If a coin crashes down, if it's a good coin, see, if it's a good coin, you know, emphasis on good quality projects. Because it was obviously we saw BTC at 17,000. And now BTC is back to what? 21,000. So if you had bought BTC at, at let's say, at let's say 18,000, and you now crash at 17. You've not lost money because now it has pumped back to 21. You made a profit. You you only lose in the crypto space when you sell off in spots, not in futures, right? Please get this, get this clearly. In spots, as long as you, you do not sell off, you have not lost. If you can hold and be patient, the price of your asset is going to recover and you're going to make profit when, when, the, when the next bull run comes. Unless, if it's a good quality coin, all right? But in futures trade, you set TP and stop loss. Why? Because it's a fast-paced trade. If you don't set stop loss, you will get liquidated. And you won't get any money back. Does that make any sense? All right. So I hope that answered the question. All right. I think that will be the That's last someone. question. Okay, let me, let, let me take That's some more questions and then we go. I have a question. All right. Go ahead. Okay, me. Okay, I'm sorry. I came late and uh, I no was talking about quiet, quiet, quiet. Uh, good quality coin. See, there are mm. some coins I bought since last year. I, I'm not a I'm not a crypto trader. Somebody just introduced me to buying coins and I, yes, last year I bought like Doge, Solana, uh, BTT and the rest. And up to now, I think I spent like hundred K to buy coin last year. Last year, but uh, that coin I Everything's not even up to 40,000 era. Yeah, so I'll, I I'll tell you why. Now, for, for, for a starter, for, for, a, for a starter, you bought good coins, to be very honest. If you bought Solana, you bought a good coin. If you bought BTT, you bought a good coin. All right? Uh, now, the only issue, Dodge, yeah. It's one of, it's, it's Dodge, one of, yeah, they are good. Those, those, those mm. are like the, the most, the only two quality name coins we have. Okay, fine and good. You bought good coins, all right? But the problem was you bought this coin when they were high in price. Because the price I think you bought those coins then, and now it has it has reduced. Do you understand? So you've not lost money, all right? Just leave your assets. The coins you bought, they are good, to be, to be honest with you. Just hold this for your while. And the next, the next bull run, you will get your capital back and extra profit if you hold. Because from what you mentioned now, the coins you've got, they are really good. If you got Solana and BTT, they are good coins. Um, those and Shiba Inu, yeah, just hold it. They are good. They are Hello. good meme coin. David, All right? Are you here? So that's that. All right, we next question before we go. Yeah, I can hear David. you. Go ahead. 
Okay. Um, have it for sharing this uh, good thing, but a very very. Okay. Uh, please go, go on. Go on to a question. Okay. I don't have more time yet. What I want to ask is why are you not using speak? I, I, I can't hear a question. Take that again. I say, why are you not using T or SL? Your network, your network is actually not clear. Take the question again. Can you? Your question said, is not clear. Take it again. Why are you not using T and S? Because I believe that you are experienced on this. There must be a reason why you're using it. I, I didn't get that question. It's not clear. Somebody Maybe you should type questions? it. Your your question is breaking. Maybe you should just type it. All right. All right. So, any more questions? Like one more question before we go. Hello, hello, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Hello, sir. I think yeah, that he was asking. He was asking why you're not using a tip. I mean, an SL in your limits because you you have an experience. He's asking why you're not using an SL on your limits. Uh it it just it just I just I just don't know why, but I did not. I don't know. I, don't, I did not. I like I like my test to go live before I set TP and stop loss. Why is that? The reason is because when I'm setting that TP and stop loss when the trade is live, I I I know how much I am expecting back in return. When I, when I, when I, when when your trade is live and you and you go to set TP and stop loss, you will know how much you get when TP hits, and you will know how much you get when stop loss hits. But if you are setting TP and stop loss from that initial stage, you will know how much it is when you, that you're getting. You're not setting this. And all like Forex, we don't have PIP calculator. Does that make any sense? All like Forex, you know, in Forex, we have, we call it PIP calculator that you can know how, more, how many TP, your stop loss, how many, how much it cost you, your TP, how much it is, according to your lot size. But in crypto, we don't have that calculator to tell us how much our TP and our stop loss is. So, I like to, I like to, I like when I create this life, I go and set my TP and stop loss so that I know how much I am losing and how much I'm making. That's why, that's why I like doing it when my trade is live. But if you if you're not if you're not so if you're not so carried away, or if you are so carried away and you forget, please when setting when setting your trade and you're using limit, go ahead and set a TP and stop loss and you're fine. But it's just my style. Like I said, I've given you the reason why and now you know why I did and why I don't do it, alright? Alright, so that's the um I think that would right, be the last question for today. Right. And Sir. um Thank you guys for having me. And uh, Mr. Geoffrey, thank you for your time, for this opportunity to talk to your guys. And um, I hope I've been able to impart you something that will help you make money. You're going to make money after all this, after all this noise that you're going to make money. Uh, all right, guys. So thank you for your time. My name is Clifford, and that's it. All right. So, guys, I'll see you in the next class. And uh, good night, everyone. Thank you. All right. All right, guys. So um, I think you have heard from uh, Mr. Clifford. Please, if you enjoy the class, just type in the group. Thank you, Clifford. Thank you, Clifford. Just drop it in the group. Thank you, Clifford. Thank you, Clifford. If you really enjoyed that class, because I was really impacted by that. So if you, um, if you enjoy the class, just type it in the group. Thank you, Clifford. Thank you, Clifford. All right. I think let me just answer one question. Someone asked, someone asked if um, Binance has a demo account. Yeah, Binance has a demo account. Binance has a demo account. I've, I've seen it. Binance has a demo account. That was um, by Sage or something. It was asking if Binance it, has a demo it, account. Binance has a demo account and all of that, right? Um, so, wrap up this um, session. I want to say that um, this was a very impactful class. I really learned a lot, starting from the investing part. And I want to say something. Can you say something that really touched me? So that as a young man, stop worrying about um, investment. I mean, it's not about savings. Use that money and get knowledge. And that is what I really, um, I really um, appreciate it for saving. You know, some of us are actually very stingy, you know, want to actually use money for the business that are not necessary. But I advise use your money and go for it. I think currently, Clifford has a course um, on those, I think, a combo pack, I think, a launching something like that. That's about 7,000 naira. I think I will drop the link to that. And I think I actually got the course, and it's actually a very beautiful course. Like, he thought, how all these things like in details it was a very amazing course. I'll, I'll drop the link to the course. It's actually just seven thousand naira, and you really love it. It's not. It's, in fact, it is um, below the. I mean, the price is below the value. Like it has more value than the price. I'm really paying for it. All right. So I uh, really want to thank Clifford for this opportunity to learn from him. I really was really impacted, and 
all of that. So tomorrow we'll be having um, a kind of double um, class, you know, because tomorrow is Sunday. So it's more of technical analysis, right? Someone was asking, how do you know when to buy a coin? It is not enough to know as you should buy a coin just randomly. This is where technical analysis is coming to place, where you should know where you have You should not do crypto if you don't know technical analysis. There's no point doing um, sorry, this buying coins if you don't know technical analysis. At least they have told you um, one of the best part that you should use um, uh, coins that are exchange coins like BNB, HNT. Those are good coins. Also use coins that based on technical and fundamental analysis, they are actually good to go. So yeah, there's a technical component of trade apart from knowing that you should buy tokens and all of that. So that is what we're talking about some more technical analysis. But I think Vico is more from a tech, um, I think a retail trader who teaches you two approaches to approach the market. You can either use the, 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 um, the retail technical analysis or the smart money, which I, I usually use um, the smart money and ICT concept to do my technical analysis. I'm more of a smart money. I don't really use retail concept. You, you never see me using the line or the spawnities, right? But some people actually make money off it, right? They're not saying that smart money is better or using retail concepts are better. I'm not going to say that. So you can only use retail concepts and make money. You can use smart money and make money. You can use smart money and still lose money. It depends on which one you're okay with. I prefer the smart money approach and the ICT concept. So people actually use indicators. That's fine. But you must have an idea of technical analysis to be able to do well in crypto. That's the truth. No matter even if you don't want to be traded, learn technical analysis. Even if you don't want to be doing futures. Even if you're just buying coins, like also what I plan to do. I don't plan to be trading crypto like futures. I plan to just be doing investments, buying good coins, holding this. That's what I plan to do. I don't, I don't plan to be doing I don't have time for that. I'm a forest trader. All right? So that's what I will be talking about tomorrow. Technical analysis. I think I'll be dropping a link to give you guys an intro to market structure, right? So I'm dropping a link after this class. So you guys can have an idea of what's talking about tomorrow. So I will not waste time. So let's give you a video on market structure. Go and watch it. And this opportunity to subscribe to the YouTube channel because that is where the videos we posted. Like all these videos I've recorded. So I actually edit them and post on the YouTube channel. So if you want to have access to the recordings, you have to use the link. That I'll be sending, watch the video, subscribe to the channel so that when it is posted, this recording, this particular recording, yes, this one and the end. All right, so I hope this was insightful. If you really enjoyed this class, uh, please do want to invite your friends. So we'll see you tomorrow, the same time by 7 p.m. to be a powerful class. All right, so cheers and God bless.